Hello everyone, I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Here's your political news roundup for Wednesday, January 22nd, 2014. Talks aimed at ending the civil strife in Syria began today, and even though UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon called it an important first small step, the meeting was marked with some bitter exchanges. Secretary of State John Kerry helped set the tone by declaring the peace process cannot include Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad. Kerry accused Assad of widespread human rights violations. Syria's representatives shot back that nobody in the world has the right to get rid of the legitimacy of a president or a constitution or a law or anything in Syria except the people of Syria themselves. Anti-Assad protests and retaliatory strikes by Assad's military have led to what the UN says have been more than 110,000 deaths since the year 2011. Well, if you voted in the last presidential election, did you have to wait long in line to cast your ballot? The Obama administration says thousands of people had to wait hours, and it wants to remedy that problem. President Obama's bipartisan panel named to tackle that issue has some ideas, but the group said today that getting them enacted won't be easy. It said changes are ultimately up to states and to about 8,000 local jurisdictions. The panel did issue two warnings that could make the problem worse instead of better. One is that voting machines purchased with federal funds a decade ago are breaking down or becoming obsolete. The other is that many schools that were available as voting sites have stopped being available because of security concerns in the wake of the school shooting disaster in Newtown, Connecticut. There is more task force news from the White House. President Obama formed a new task force to help protect students from abuse. The move follows a report showing one in five college women have been victimized by sexual violence. This follows, by just a month, another administration move to review sexual assault and its prevention in the military. And a prominent Republican is calling on New Jersey Governor Chris Christie to step down from his post as chairman of the Republican Governors Association. Virginia's former Attorney General and gubernatorial candidate Ken Cuccinelli called for Christie to step down. He said the investigations into alleged political misconduct by top Christie assistants would hurt Christie's ability to effectively campaign for other GOP candidates. That's your political news roundup for Wednesday, January 22, 2014. I'm Leon Thomas Lewick. Stay logged on to rttnews.com for the latest political, economic, and stock market news from around the world all day long.